I feel like the glycolic acid used in this product is not of a good quality. So yeah, it's like that ex-boyfriend where you know you love them but you also hate them and you just can't do without them. Hi guys, this is Lisha Bata and welcome to my channel. So today I decided to sit down and do an empties haul. I oh my god, okay, let me just quickly grab this without Let's redo this. So today I have an empties video for you. So I got a bit consistent during the lockdown in terms of using skincare and hair care products. I've been using most of these products since months now and there are some products that I will definitely never repurchase. Some of these were sent in the PR that I did not like at all but I just finished them up. So before I blabber too much and make this into a big introduction, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay notified of all my new videos and of course when I see the number increasing it really makes me so happy and it just gives me that much needed push to continue making videos on YouTube. Also don't forget to follow me on Instagram I'm doing a lot of cool content on reels as well as stories so make sure you follow me there. So in my empty pile I have a bunch of hair care, skin care and makeup items. Now starting off with makeup, the first product I have is the TBS Matte Clay Skin Clarifying Foundation. Now this is a foundation I've had for years yet I've barely touched it because I absolutely hate the finish of it. This is a matte clay foundation so it basically absorbs your oil and I'm someone who has dry skin. So it isn't surprising that I didn't like the finish but then I also use a lot of matte foundations during summers because it helps control my sweat and my skin does tend to get a bit oily during the summers especially my T-zone. So I love the Nyka Skin shield during summers it helps control the oil well i also really like the l'oreal one but this one is so intensely matte plus it just like sits on your skin like a face mask i just didn't like this product hated the finish of it i would love to know if you've used this and if you had a bad experience with it uh, but personally, I would not recommend this at all. Especially because I know there are much better matte foundations out there which do not enhance the pores or the texture of your skin as much as this one did. Next, we have the Face Shop Rice Water Cleansing Water. So basically, this is a micellar water and I have this huge bottle which I emptied out. It's actually half a litre. It's 500 ml and I think it took me about 6 to 8 months about yeah about six to eight months to finish it off and i absolutely loved it this removes makeup so easily it does not sting the eyes which is something a lot of micellar waters tend to do with mine and it is also very gentle on the skin but the only thing that it mentions on the bottle on the packaging let me read it out so it says the cleansing water contains carefully selected ingredients for gentle use on the skin micellar water easily removes makeup and draws out impurities in one simple step no rinsing is required so what i used to do was was I would just remove my makeup with it and just you know wash my like just dab some water on my face and sleep however that broke me out so I would definitely not recommend using a micellar water and then not washing your face so every time I used to use it I used to make sure I still wash my face with a face wash besides that this is a great product and when you buy like a 500 ml bottle it also turns out to be very affordable Next, I have the Maybelline White Super Fresh Compact. This is hands down the best affordable compact in a market. You can tell how much I've loved it by the look of it. Even the mirror has fallen out and I've hit the pan on it and I've tried to take out as much product as I could. The powder is very finely milled. It does not accentuate any pores or fine lines. It sets your base makeup really well. And if you are on a budget, in fact, even if you're not on a budget, if you find a shade match in this range, you should definitely Definitely, definitely buy this and I am definitely for sure repurchasing this. Next we have the Body Shop Cushion Foundation. Now I hardly use this. I think I used it only 3-4 times and I never really liked it. I think I'm not really a fan of the Body Shop base makeup. It's, it's just never attracted me much. It's never worked out for me. This also barely gave me any coverage and when you apply it with the sponge, the coverage is reduced even more. I, I just didn't like this product. I think I wasn't a huge fan. Though this was very hydrating but in terms of a foundation or a sheer everyday foundation this didn't work out for me and the price mentioned on this is 2700 if you're looking for a sheer dewy foundation then I would suggest the Nykaa sculpting and hydrating foundation that is my HG foundation the finish of it is so beautiful I also recently tried out the my glam BB stick foundation that is also really good for an everyday uh, foundation but this for almost 3000 rupees 
was total waste of money. Waste of money in the sense if you purchase it, this was sent to me in the PR. So I didn't really spend my money, but it took up a lot of space in my drawer. And for years and years, it was just sitting there because I hardly used it. And now it's all dried up. So now I'm finally pinning it. Now, after all those crappy foundations, we have an amazing line of foundations. So this is the NYX Total Control Foundation. And I love it. This is one of my most favorite full coverage foundations out there. This gives a satin finish. It does not settle into pores or fine lines and it is so long lasting. So this is the sort of foundation I would recommend when you have a marriage to attend and you know you're going to be dancing your heels off. Is that even a term? Dancing your heels off? dancing your booty off yeah so if you know you'll be dancing your booty off this is the foundation you need it will not budge it will stay in place and it also gives you a flawless finish you should be able to tell how much i love this by the amount of bottles i finished up so i have a few shades with me i have classic tan soft beige and camel but i think classic tan suited me the most then we have the nika contour and highlight duo so i have hit the pan oops on the contour finally and it's matched quite a bit uh, during my recent travel but i love this product so much from nika but i have a big issue with it now i got another product i repurchased it and the highlighter broke again so the highlighter of this one also got smashed within i think a couple of months of me getting it and then i repurchased this i traveled with it and that also got smashed and Trust me, of course, I get it. You know, when you're traveling, makeup products are fragile and they do break. But I pack my makeup really well. So even though this contouring powder is amazing, I love it. It's the best contour out there for Indian skin tone. It's super affordable. It blends easily. It does not look muddy. It looks super natural. I, I recommend it so, so much in my videos. But then the highlighter always ends up breaking. I just hope they come out with like... A contour on its own you know I don't want the duo because the highlighter is so soft but as you can tell I really do love this product and I know I will continue repurchasing it I'm just gonna hope they come out with the single or uh, they just work on the formulation because this is a very very good contouring powder next I have the NYX epic ink eyeliner I love this product easiest eyeliner to use if you're someone who struggles with lining their eyes and you just need to get this just close your eyes trust me and get this I was someone who used to struggle a lot with face art because I just could not do that intricate lining work but when I got this liner it all became a breeze lastly we have the pack lash fixer now, I have a love and hate relationship with this lash glue. I used this for the first time for the wool makeup look that I did. If you haven't seen it, you can check it on Instagram. I will also like put a picture of it somewhere here. And the reason why I didn't like it is because it's a very strong hold product. On my skin, it reacted badly. It inflamed my skin. My skin became very red after using it. So I stayed off the lash glue for a while. But then I ran out of my dual lash glue and I ended up using this. Now the good thing about the pack lash fixer is that it is a strong hole lash glue. So your falsies are going to stay in place no matter what. Even if you cry, it's going to stay in place. But on the other hand, that is also a bane because you can never truly remove the glue from your lashes. Now, I'm someone who double cleanses. In fact, I even triple cleanse while removing my makeup. But yet in the morning, I will see there's still some lash glue left over left within my lashes. And no matter how much I try and remove it, it takes forever. And I literally just have to like pull it out of my lashes. It is that strong a glue. I much prefer the duo lash glue. But then, you know, that costs to be 1600 in India. I usually get the duo lash glue when you know any of my friends is coming from abroad but now that I've run out of it I'd rather buy the pack lash fixer because this is 450 rupees and the duo one in India the MAC duo one costs to be 1600 and abroad you get it for like four five dollars there's no way I'm spending twice or thrice the amount on a lash glue. So yeah, I think this is the best option available in India right now but I would love for them to come out with something uh, which is less intense and I can't even believe I'm the one who's saying this because I'm someone whose lashes always and always get removed from the inner corner. But this is just so strong, you know. I mean, I feel like it's so hard to get out of it that I don't think it's worth it. So, so yeah, it's like that ex-boyfriend where, you know, you love them but you also hate them and you just can't do without them. So the first product I have is the Plum Grapeseed and Sea Bakhtan Facial Oil. Now earlier I was never a huge fan of facial oils especially when they were initially launched into the market. I'm someone who has super dry skin and whenever I used the facial oils I felt like they were just 
sitting on my skin they weren't getting absorbed as much and even if they were lightweight they just did not moisturize my skin sufficiently but that's when i realized i was using them all wrong then i did some research and i realized facial oils actually work really well at locking in the moisture so i have been using the plum facial oil since january 2020 and i used this extensively during the lockdown so during the lockdown was when i did my skincare really well i used this plum facial oil uh, with the etude house moisturizer serum and my goodness this made such a huge difference to my skin my skin looked so healthy and plump in fact i remember recommending this on my insta stories and a lot of the girls got back to me and said they absolutely love it also one bottle will last you a long time i think this took me an year to finish it up and i definitely recommend it i absolutely loved it and i think i'm going to purchase this again next we have the innes free green tea cleansing gel to foam face wash i use face washes very extensively and i love uh the sort of face wash which lather well without drying out my skin yet give me that squeaky clean finish there's not much to say about a face wash besides the fact that it does its job well but what i really liked about this was that it did not dry out my dry skin further this is definitely on the expensive side and i actually see this in the pr but i don't think i'll purchase it myself for me like uh the maximum i spend on facial cleansers is 5 to 600 bucks and this costs 1150 rupees now coming to body care we have the tvs moringa body yogurt now i'm someone who can never ever finish up body lotions which is probably the easiest thing to do but the problem with me is that i cannot stick to one fragrance for a extended period of time so if i'll be using moringa for like say a week or two by the third week i'll be on to the next body lotion i'll forget all about the previous body lotion but this one smells so good that i actually managed to finish it all up as you can see this is literally the first body butter body lotion that i finished up completely mostly what happens is that i start using a product and then it gets expired and that's when i like bin it but this just smells divine even the tub right now it smells so good and the fragrance is so pleasant it is a bit strong initially when i used to apply it i felt like i was getting a headache from it but i think i just kind of got used to it i really do love this range by the body shop and i recommend it and i'll probably repurchase it as well but probably in a different scent Now the last product in my skincare empties is the Dot and Key Five Percent AHA Toner. I actually haven't emptied this out fully. I've used probably half of it, and this was one product that I just did not like. I know a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers rave about this, and probably this is just my experience. But I do not like this product at all. It has a very strong fragrance which irritates my skin, and I do not have sensitive skin. My skin. hardly breaks out with any product but this is one product that always and always gives me very painful acne my skin is very much used to glycolic acid i use the pixi uh, glow tonic extensively i use it at least twice or thrice a week since this was a huge bottle i didn't want to bin it and i also wanted to give it another try so i waited a few more months and then started using it again and i had the same experience then finally i gave this to my mom uh, to use now she never breaks out but even when she used it this hardly did any anything for her skin i feel like the glycolic acid used in this product is not of a good quality because my mom used this very regularly and her blackheads were still the same she had a lot of whiteheads in fact and i mean i just did not feel like it made any difference to her skin either so i am finally binning it even though half of the product is left and i mean this could very well just be my own experience but i would love to know if you've used this product and how much did you really like it and compared to other toners do you really think this is a good quality product Now coming to hair care I have the Ashwa curl defining gel. Now this was the gel that I showed in my first ever haul that I posted on YouTube. I bought this during my CG journey and I absolutely loved it. So this is a medium hold gel. If you have waves or curl you'll understand what I'm saying. So this is a medium hold gel which does not leave any white cast. You don't need to scrunch out the crunch with this. It's a very light hold to medium gel. I love the scent of this product as well. And if you're someone who follows the curly gold method you should definitely check this out. In fact nowadays i have been getting salon washers so they've been blow drying my hair straight but once i start washing my hair on my own even though i'm not on cg but i have started using products to help you know enhance my waves and curls a lot of the techniques that i learned during my cg journey have really helped me embrace my hair so whenever i get back to washing my own hair i'm repurchasing this for sure
Then I also went through the Pantene Advanced Lively Clean Shampoo. So this is a clarifying shampoo. Yet again, I bought it during my CG journey and finally finished it off. So this is definitely a bit harsh on the hair. It dries out your hair a bit. And that's why it's used as a clarifying shampoo because this helps remove all the buildup on your hair. So during CG, you use a lot of, you know, butters and hair oils and hair gels, which kind of leads to a lot of buildup on your scalp. So this definitely helps clean up the buildup and clean my hair really well during CG. But now that I'm off CG, I will not use this as my normal weekly shampoo because this is definitely drying for my hair. So yeah, with that, I wrap up my empties video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'm not really sure if you guys like such talk through chatty videos please do comment below and tell me if you did make sure you hit the like button and you can also check out some of my other makeup and skincare videos and i'll see you guys the next time